Tonight's concert has a wide-ranging theme of to infinity and beyond. The theme and program were selected by Damon Shane, a composer, performer, and conductor who successfully conducted us last year. He studied music composition at the University of Montana before moving to Oregon. During his studies, Damon participated in and conducted ensembles varying from choral groups to the University of Montana Grizzly Marching Band. Damon currently plays in the Corvallis Community Band in our awesome flute section. Woo, go flutes! <laughs> and uh, Damon also participates in the community band's flute choir, Flute Cocktail. Guest artists for this evening are from our saxophone section called Sax Tracks. And now it's time to reach for the sky as we head to infinity and beyond with our conductor of the week, Damon Shane.
Thank you for joining us this evening. Uh, I call it the prologue. The first piece you heard is actually titled Epilogue. Um, and it's uh, actually, did you know you're going to hear two world premieres tonight? The epilogue piece that we started with was composed by myself, and it's the first time it's ever been performed. And we'll have another one later, don't you worry. Our actual intro piece is Entry of the Gladiators, or otherwise known as Thunder and Blazes, um, arranged by Sarity, uh, composed by Lauren Doe. Our next piece, we're going to go a little more mystic to the beyond part of infinity. We're going to go take a trip down Wizards of Oz.
Amazing band, amazing, amazing crowd, amazing evening. What can we complain about this evening? I decided last year my music was folk themed, so I called it All Folk Welcome, and I was, it was people centric. So this year we're going to go beyond people, and it's just over encompassing. I decided to let the music do most of the talking tonight because I tend to ramble on. Our next piece, closing our first half of the concert before we have our guest artist come up here, our guest group, will be March of the Olympians um, by Tommy Walker and Robert Lynn, arranged by Paul Yoder. This was actually written for the Winter and Summer Olympic Games of 1960. I wish I could claim the credit that I planned this out knowing that we would have an Olympian medalist in Corvallis the week before this concert. I wish I could take that credit. I guess I just unconsciously knew. So <laughs> this will be dedicated to the recent Summer Olympic Games and our very own Corvallis medalist, Jade Carey. We're going to take a short break as we get our guest group sax tracks up here and settled. They're going to play a few little fun tunes for you. Good evening. We're sax tracks, and we are really happy to be invited to come to this concert tonight by Damon. Thank you very much. And the members of our group um, on Barry Sax, we have Cheryl Lecky. That's a good one. There. And on uh, tenor sax, we have Anya Erwig. And graciously filling in for our usual sax player who had wrist surgery is the wonderful Katie Cooper. And I'm Peg Urban, I'm playing soprano sax tonight. We're gonna to play three rather short selections for you. Um, Cheryl will tell you about the first one. Second one, Damon will tell you about because it's his original composition. The next world premiere, and then I'll tell you about the last one. Thanks. Our first piece is Dance Macabre from Camille Sasson. It means dance of death. And somehow in Europe, from the Middle Ages on, death has been, the dance of death has been a theme through arts, literature, and music. This, uh, Sanson originally wrote this for orchestra, be depicting death scraping on a violin at midnight. We'll represent that here with our alto saxophone. 
as dancers leap, their bones cracking, represented by the staccato through the other saxophones. Here the melody will be played first in alto sax, the staccato passed around by the other saxes. The ghastly dance continues, becoming more frenzied, but eventually ends at dawn, heralded by the soprano sax depicting the cock's crow. The music, now less ominous, plays a short elegy as the skeletons return to their graves. I gave the band a break. Didn't give myself, did not give myself much of a break, uh, waggling my arms around. But this next piece, our second world premiere of the evening, also composed by me, because uh, turns out when you can program your own music, you can actually literally program your own music. <laughs> so <laughs> um, this next piece is an unfinished uh, multi-movement work for saxophone quartet 
based loosely off Greek mythology, Roman mythology. Um, this is actually the second movement of the piece, and the first one will be Valhalla, second one, the river sticks, and the idea of the piece is the performers will choose in which order they play each movement as the journey through the underworld. So every time the piece is performed in its entirety, it will be performed differently. Today, to catch you up where we're at, on the hero's journey, movement two, you awaken after a legendary battle in an attempt to summit Valhalla. The ground is firm beneath you and the light a hazy orange emanating from elsewhere. Dazed and disoriented, you think you can hear the sounds of water flowing behind you. It sounds as though a small boat is approaching, effortlessly gliding through a gentle stream. You turn to see a tall hooded figure patiently guiding the small boat towards the shore where you now stand. A mesmerizing melody drifts towards you as the boat approaches. Your body begins to move beyond your control as you climb into the boat and let the strange hooded figure and their ominous melody take you away. The waters do not stay calm for long though. As you have now entered the River Styx. For our final piece, we're going to take you to Star Wars, to the cantina scene in Star Wars, uh, Intergalactic Rag by John Williams.
we have a few more pieces for you this evening. Our next piece is going to be The Explorers of Orion. Um, this is actually a piece composed by a living composer from Japan, Naoya Wada. Um, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. I did try to practice, but... Um, as a, as a living composer, I think it's important to program other living composers. So I went on the composer database and found it a fun little easy tune for us to play. So we're going to go explore Orion now, as you can see on my shirt. Thank you. 
Our next journey takes us through The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Music by Harry Gregson Williams. This arrangement is by Paul Murtha. You'll see some selection selections from The Chronicles of Narnia.
Now I know what you're thinking. How do you call a concert to infinity and beyond and not play any Toy Story? Well, guess what? We're closing with music from Toy Story 2. Music and lyrics by Randy Newman. This arrangement's by Jay Bocook. We'll hear some of Woody's Roundup, When She Loved Me, and You've Got a Friend in Me. I would also like to thank the sponsor, of course, for sponsoring my concert, the Thursday Beanery Bunch. Thank you very much for supporting the band and this event. And again, if you want to buy any community band or donate or help us out or even just chat and get some more info, we have some lovely volunteers to my left. So we'll close out with music from Toy Story 2. Thank you for joining us in our search to infinity and beyond. Thank you. 
Thank you, community band. Thank you, community. Have a great rest of your evening. Thanks for joining us. Join us next week. We have two more concerts next Tuesday and the week after for our summer programs.